Hello everybody, this is my Celica. I got it in 2005 after I totaled my car. I'm Esmeralda, right? Yes. And that is my Celica. I really love my Celica. But my Celica just has some problems. So, um, I crashed it a while ago and it was totaled pretty much, so I had to go and pay like $4,000 to get it fixed and just can't really get any money to fix it right now. And currently unemployed and trying to get a job. So let me show you my car. It looks nice right here. Very pretty. Cats like to relax on it and stuff and walk on it. Then as you walk around over here, there's a dent here. And it's not very good. And I constantly hit my rims, but I'm trying to work on that. And so it's a pretty car, but it's got some problems. When I drive, my car tends to make funny sounds when I drive. People think I have a dead person in the car, in the back trunk. And there's currently oil on the back of this trunk. So if I was to open the deck lid there, I wouldn't be able to put anything there because there's a speaker, a big huge speaker, so I can have some sound, so I won't have to hear all that banging noise when I'm driving. So let's open the car and uh, I can use a paint job. It's pretty ridiculous. And then up here, I actually used house paint to make it look reasonable and not rusty. And um, that's not accurate paint for a car. And same thing back here. Put house paint. And then I put these plastic letterings, which is a stellic on there. A little sticker. And there is a shitty broken backlight. Okay, so let's open the car <laughs> and this is what we got. We got the inside all messed up and it doesn't look very good. My mom thinks I should get rid of this car. But I absolutely love this car. This car was given to me as a gift. I totaled my car back in 2005 after trying to travel and um, get on the road and make some money doing like petitioning and stuff. So I fell asleep on the road and um, wrecked my 1989 Toyota um, Nissan Maxima. So I came home that night after praying for this car because this was my car that I decided I really wanted that my brother drove. I thought it was like my miracle car. Well, it was a miracle car, because when I got inside this car, it looked pretty awesome to me. In the night, um, it looks like a spaceship in here. And so, these lights turn on, and it's blue and beautiful and dark. And then when you drive down the road, you see these lights go up like this. So, it feels like you're on a spaceship. And it's pretty awesome to me. Um... This car has um, 243,000 miles on it, and so my mom says I should get rid of this car, but I absolutely love it. I really do. Um, I like to keep this car forever, even though it looks like this. Um, it's a 1990, I've had it since 2005 once again, and I like it. I put a system in here, so I, I listen to some cool music here and stuff, but it really makes some funny sounds. Maybe I should take you for a ride, and you can see what I'm talking about. So here we go. On the road. And it really needs some help on the seats. Not on the seats really, but I mean like on the doors. Um, this car rattles now. So, it's probably due to the music and the sound that I love to listen. So, this is how my car sounds when I drive it without music. Maybe you will hear it. When I drive down this road, and there's pop.
potholes and I live in Redding, California. So there's that sound. Every time I have someone in here, they're like, what's that? And I'm like, um, it's, it's the trunk. Um, that crashed a while ago, or I think actually it's been like this for a long time, so I just drive it like this. So then I'm like, well, would you guys like to listen to some music? And it's really embarrassing because I love this car, but you know, it doesn't bother me when I drive alone in it, but when I drive somebody else in it, I really wish I can, um, have the pleasure of having a quiet car and that it's really good and good shape and I won't have to listen to loud music with them. So then I have to go, well, let's put it on something else. And this is my little radio thing. I think it's pretty cool. It plays pretty cool songs in it. And let's see what's on now. music on in order for me not to listen to that banging sound. Let me show you how it looks on the back trunk. Oh, and look at these. You have to see this this cool supposedly racing car I really love. And I tell people it's a racing vehicle. And it says here, it says American Product Company. And for some reason, to me, it says um, racing. For some reason, I think this is a racing vehicle and it has supposedly racing tires. To me, it's special. It is. It is. This car is special to me, but shitty. And people think I should get rid of it. And I don't want to get rid of it. Um, I even put... Um, some nail polish on there that says love and then it says my name on there I don't know if you can see that but it does say Esmeralda on there it says music somewhere on there because I do love music but we're running out of the ideas here because I don't really have the cash money and I love Jesus so I got it right here that says I am a princess, my father is the king of kings, and that's what I did. I laid hands on this car a long time ago, and this is exactly what I did. I said, Father, I declare that this car be mine in the name of Jesus. And then I went home and I crashed my 1989 Nissan Maxima, and that was a pretty cool car too, but I fell asleep and the car got messed up. And it was by miracle that I went home that night, and I listened to my voicemail. My brother said, come, up, come pick up your car. It's yours. Toyota Celica. It's yours. And I know I'm cool. My car is cool. It just really needs to get pimped bad. And if somebody can help me, I would just be so appreciative. And I'd be dancing like an angel. With the roses around, praising God Almighty. I'm so thankful. Thanks a lot. My name is Esmeralda Ortiz. Talk to you later, hopefully. Yes. <laughs>